Hey, AP Kids and parents. This weekend at AP Kids, we will be reading about Paul testifying the gospel in Rome, found in Acts 28, 11 through 31. Even though Paul was a prisoner, he had freedom to teach anyone who would come to him. And when he came into Rome, Paul was allowed to stay by himself with the soldier who guarded him. After three days, he called together the local leaders of the Jews. And when they had gathered, he said to them, Brothers, though I had done nothing against our people or the customs of our fathers, yet I was delivered as a prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans. When they had examined me, they wished to set me at liberty, because there was no reason for the death penalty in my case. But because the Jews objected, I was compelled to appeal to Caesar, though I had no charge to bring against my nation. For this reason, therefore, I have asked to see you and speak with you, since it is because of the hope of Israel that I am wearing this chain. And they said to him, We have received no letters from Judea about you, and none of the brothers coming here has reported or spoken any evil about you. When they had appointed a day for him, they came to him at his lodging in greater numbers. From morning till evening he expounded to them, testifying to the kingdom of God and trying to convince them about Jesus, both from the law of Moses and from the prophets. And some were convinced by what he said, but others disbelieved. And disagreeing among themselves, they departed after Paul had made one statement. The Holy Spirit was right in saying to your fathers through Isaiah the prophet, Go to this people and say, You will indeed hear, but never understand, and you will indeed see, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and with their ears they can barely hear, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn, and I would heal them. Therefore let it be known to you that this salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles. They will listen. Paul lived there two whole years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him, proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness and without hindrance. Paul kindly preached to the Jews first, but most left without being convinced. Paul rebuked them for not having ears to hear the truth. Then Paul began teaching Gentiles, many of whom believed, and Paul kept teaching the gospel for two years in Rome. God used his imprisonment to powerfully spread the gospel. The teaching points will vary slightly from classroom to classroom, but the main points will be the invitation to hear the hope of Israel, the rejection of Paul's testimony, the teaching about eternal life in Jesus. This weekend, we want to drive home how the gospel is the good news. The gospel is the good news of the hope of Israel, the kingdom of God, and the Lord Jesus Christ. As the hope of Israel, it is the way to receive new eternal life from God. As the kingdom of God, it is being rescued by Jesus from the kingdom of sin and Satan so that we can live with God. Finally, the gospel is about the Lord Jesus Christ how the ruler of the universe suffered and died as a human to rescue everyone who trusts in him. That is the message we're hoping to communicate this weekend. And as always, we'd love to partner with you in that endeavor. We hope to see you this weekend. Until then, God bless you.